Many times we are told about the importance of watching the food we eat if we are to ensure health and fitness. It's not a common thing to hear someone talk about watching your mental diet or the right diet for the mind. Don't you agree? Yet the mental diet is so important in determining our overall outlook and our well-being. Hi there, I'm Catherine Gaho. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Elevators, where we offer elevating and empowering messages to help you grow in life, career, or business. There are thousands of videos and books focused on the topic of what to eat, what not to eat, how much to eat, and when to eat in order to control your weight. There are not as many videos and books on the mind diet, that is, what we should feed the mind in order to enhance our mental state, our thoughts, and to operate optimally. Yet this is totally important for our overall happiness, our joy, and well-being. As Emmett Fox put it, it's the food that you furnish your mind that determines the whole character of your life. A common problem is the fact that many people think that they have no say at all over what happens in the mind. That makes us play the victim, blaming others for our circumstances. But the reality is that you can do something about it. You can change your mental diet and it will help you to change your thought patterns and your responses. In this video, I will talk about why we absolutely need to watch our mental diet and how we can do it to our benefit in four easy ways. Do stay with me to the end so that you can get the full value of what I've prepared for you. Let me start by clarifying that this is not a video about food or nutrition. And in disclaimer, I'm not a mental health expert or health expert at all. I draw from my past experience as a counselor for students. I once served as a campus counselor at one time in my life and it was an interesting and good learning experience. I will also draw from research and from my experience for many years in business where I have experienced all the ups and the downs that go with life in its many facets. Now let's go to the four things that you can do to improve your mental diet. First, recognize the value of the mental diet. In my view, what we feed the mind is critically important because it determines our mental state and how we feel. It affects our confidence and our self-esteem and the like. I like how Brian Tracy puts it. He says that your mental diet largely determines your character and your personality and almost everything that happens in your life. It is key to ensuring that we stay in a healthy and positive mental state. This will enable us to harness enthusiasm and keep our joy and peace. Many people struggle to take control of their mental state, especially when things are not going according to plan. Indeed, anyone can be cool and calm and collected when everything is going as expected. It's easy to be cool and calm and positive when everything is going well. When you are getting on well at work, when you have your bills paid on time, when your peers and friends are being considerate and your partner is acting normal. It's when things change and the tough challenges come from different sides of your life that you need special skills to keep you cool, to stay hopeful and confident. Second, decide to carefully choose the content you let into your mind. Your mental diet includes the information you bring into your mind, the content you allow into your mind and generally all that you agree to have in there, in your mind. This mental food comes into your mind through the content you consume most of the time. Check out the content you consume, such as TV programs you watch, your social media activities, the books you read, videos that you watch, the music you listen to, and the movies that you watch most of the time. This make a major part of your mental diet and they influence your mental state. Therefore, you need to ensure that they are serving your best interest. Decide to feed your mind with elevating and empowering content, thoughts, and ideas, information 
that is positive, conversations and engagement that are building. Choose content that leads to gratefulness and forgiveness. This is something that is totally within our control. We can choose to do this. You have the power over your thoughts by resolving to control what you let into your mind. Thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts determine your beliefs, they determine your actions, and they determine many outcomes in your life. As George Lucas said, always remember that your focus determines your reality. So choose the right content and it will influence what you focus on. Third, control your inner self-talk. It's a matter of first being aware of the self-talk that is going on around in your mind and to recognize its impact on your mental state. Self-talk is the internal dialogue that goes on in your head. It can be going in any direction. The idea is to control and shift that inner self-talk to the direction you want it to go. Because many times, if you are alert, you will find yourself speaking to yourself in the wrong language, talking about the wrong things in your mind. And the idea is when you find it heading in the wrong direction, you shift it, redirect it. This is because when you allow the negative self-talk to continue for a lengthy period of time in your mind, you are consuming a poor mental diet. It's just like sitting somewhere, eating all the cake and all the sugar in terms of the physical diet. The problem with this is that it's likely to cause you to harbor unfortunate feelings of negativity, anger, fear, hatred, and the like. A mind that is poorly fed will tend to generate negative energy and have negative thoughts, which produces negative feelings of sadness and hopelessness. It can make you lose confidence in your own ability to do what you need to do, or to even solve problems that you know how to solve. We need to learn how to shift the direction of that inner conversation to a progressive direction. To do this, you need to be conscious of it and to recognize it as poor mental food and to recognize the risk that it represents to your well-being. Be on the alert so that when you find it going on in your mind, you tell it to stop. You tell it the direction to go. You shift it. How do you do this? You can shift this by deliberately interrupting it with another more positive idea. I like the recommendation by Breen Brown that you should talk to yourself like you talk to someone you love. Number four, change your pattern of attention. If you find your attention staying on what is not working in your favor, deliberately work to shift to a more favorable direction. Instead of keeping your attention on what is not going well or what is not working for you, Consciously decide to quickly shift your attention and hover more on what you want and that which is going in your favor. Train your mind to mostly focus on what you want and not what you don't want. You can shift attention to favorable ideas by trying to recall a good memory. And as you think about it or you struggle to remember, you will notice your attention tends to shift its focus. A good example that I think about what I actually do when I want to shift my attention, I try to think about the times that things were working very well for me. Times I had a celebration, times I had my family over celebrating something. Generally, the mind cannot strongly hold on to two conflicting ideas at the same time. So the minute you start to see these pictures in your mind, the pictures of that event, the pictures of your graduation, the pictures of your party where you are celebrating your birthday or whatever it is that reminds you of a positive, great time, then the other idea will be forgotten. So everyone is faced by this challenge of keeping attention on desirable things. Our environment appears to conspire to get our attention to undesirable aspects of life. If you watch the evening news, I guess anywhere in the world, you'll be struggling to keep your mind's attention towards the positive or to even see how things could get better. Everyone experiences both good and bad times, but your mental state is determined by the prevailing thought. That is the thought that you allow to dominate your mind most of the time. So time 
is important. If you have a fleeting negative idea, that's normal. The problem is, do you allow it to dominate your mind? Do you allow it to stay on and occupy your mind? That's dangerous because it can take you to negative territory. So your job is to deliberately choose to shift attention to favorable things when you find things going on in the wrong direction. Consider this example. You choose to watch a movie based on the description of the storyline. It seems to give you an idea that it's a movie that's beneficial to you that will meet your needs. Then mid-course, you realize that it's taking a different turn. It's going to the wrong direction. A direction that you wish not to be exposed to. Do you keep watching and hope to overcome the challenge? Or do you decide to move to something else that will serve your interests better and help to keep you positive, give you a positive mental state? That's a choice you make. It's well within your control. That's what I mean. Choose what to pay attention to. Now, I have explained the importance of watching your mental diet. I've also given you four things that you can do to enhance your mental diet. You've also learned why these ideas will work for anyone who applies them consistently. And you know that this approach will work for you too. It works for me. That's why I created this video for you. Do like it and give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. To recap, the four things you can do to improve your mental diet and enhance your well-being are one, recognize that the mental diet matters. Second, decide to carefully choose the content you let into your mind. Third, control your inner self-talk. And fourth, change your pattern of attention. Do me a favor and share this video with at least one person who you think might benefit. Thank you and best wishes as we work to improve our mental diet in 2021. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.